Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's becoming more and more relevant, why fewer people are choosing to have kids. Let's break down some of the key insights from recent research and hear from real people about their experiences. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. The trend, growing number of childless adults. According to a new Pew Research Center survey, the number of adults under 50 in the U.S. who do not have children has increased significantly, from 37% in 2018 to 47% in 2023. This is a notable shift and has sparked a lot of conversations about why this change is happening. Real Stories, The Hayden's Journey Meet Becky and Seth Hayden, a couple who have been married for 21 years and are very active in their community in California. They've chosen not to have kids, focusing instead on running a local scholarship program, lending out prom dresses to students in need, and mentoring others. Becky often faces the assumption that because they don't have kids, they must feel unfulfilled. But she strongly disagrees, saying, a lot of people make the assumption because we don't have kids, we're not fulfilled, and it's not right. Unpacking the Pew. Study Pew researchers set out to understand the reasons behind the increasing number of childless adults and whether the stereotype of the unhappy childless adult holds any truth. They surveyed over 3,300 adults who don't have children and aren't likely to have them. The results were enlightening. Many respondents reported feeling fulfilled and connected in their lives despite not having children. Reasons for not having kids. So, what are the main reasons people choose not to have children? The Pew survey found a variety of answers, including financial concerns, raising children can be incredibly expensive, infertility. Some people face medical challenges that prevent them from having kids. Personal choice. The top reason for people under 50 is simply that they don't want to have children. Licensed psychologist Dr. Linda Baggett notes that it's a myth that everyone, especially women, wants to have children. She says, current generations are feeling more empowered to be open about and act on this preference. Societal pressures and misconceptions. Many people who choose not to have kids face societal pressure and misconceptions. Psychotherapist Carissa Strohecker Hannum shares that many of her clients are hesitant to bring children into the world due to concerns about its state or their own mental health. They want to ensure they can provide a different emotional environment than what they experienced growing up. For people like Becky Hayden, there's often an assumption that not having children means a lack of fulfillment. But as she and others demonstrate, fulfillment can come from many other areas of life, like community involvement and personal passions, workplace dynamics. For those over 50, childlessness can also impact their workplace experience. About 33% of respondents in this age group reported being expected to take on extra work because they don't have kids, and 32% felt left out of conversations among coworkers who do embracing the decision. Dr. Baggett advises those who choose not to have children to set firm boundaries with loved ones about their decision. It's okay to validate others' disappointment, but remind them that your decision is not up for debate. Finding fulfillment without kids. Many people who responded to the Pew survey found that not having children allowed them more resources to advance in their careers and pursue their hobbies and passions. Becky Hayden, for instance, has found her passion in supporting her community through various initiatives. She says, I'm just so lucky that I have found a passion. At the end of the day, I don't feel like your life has to be your children. So why are fewer people choosing to have kids? The reasons are varied and personal, but what's clear is that many people find fulfillment and happiness in different ways. Whether it's through career, hobbies, or community involvement, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to living a fulfilling life. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care.